All right, everybody. Welcome to The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. This is part two of my video series introducing the wonderful world of VR to people who don't necessarily have VR. Random dog. Um, maybe interested in this game and seeing how it is and everything. Um, it's uh, one of the older games out there. Um, I know it's, uh, I think it's at least a 2021, but probably 2020 or earlier. It's been around for a little bit. And uh, it's one of the games that really got me involved in, um, in the world of VR. Uh, when I found out about this game was out there, this was what drew me in pretty quickly. So the idea is this is based on the TV series and uh, you're in New Orleans in this particular series. And uh, you're basically going on a series of shenanigans. You're trying to survive. You meet a few characters. We're going to run through the intro of the game. And then um, the first scenario. It's going to show how the maps work. Just kind of the basic features. Try not to give too many spoilers away. I don't think much is in the first mission uh, in the introduction. And so that's about as far as I'll play. But there is... Um, there is uh, a lot to the game in the sense of you're not just fighting zombies, there's actually factions. So you're actually fighting like human factions, you can ally with those human factions. Uh, at the very least, I think you can remain level neutral um, in, in complete openness and, and transparency. I have played this game to the second map and that's as far as I got. And I haven't played it in a while, so this is not gonna be any elite play or any uh, um, me showing you how to do any kind of specialty features. This is going to be me learning how to play again as well. So it's going to be really good to, um, to kind of walk through the basics uh, for myself as well as anybody watching. So uh, let's go ahead and do a new game. We'll just pick an empty slot here. Uh, soft start forgiving and progress gets more challenging or the story mode. This is for newer players mostly interested in the narrative world of The Walking Dead. Um, so as you play the game and each kind of day goes by, the zombies get more intense. Uh, when you're out on the scenarios like this, when you're out running around, you uh, have towers that, you know, bells that go off and chimes that go off that alert you to basically getting the hell out of the scenario. So the game, on the standard mode, the game always has a sense of pushing you forward, pushing you forward, pushing you forward. If you play this and you want to just kind of have a, a more casual experience, you probably want to go with the story mode. Uh, we'll just do standard. I'm ready. Uh, I'm see. ready. Just another survivor. Yeah, we'll just do that. Let's do this. All right. Let's do this. Hmm. All right. Well, Caucasian with a little bit of sun on him. No problem. Yeah, you get uh, food, you get uh, equipment, you get the build equipment. There's going to be desks for building equipment. Uh, press and hold the HMD reset button before entering the world of Walking Dead. You need to learn the gameplay basics. So we're going to walk through some of the scenarios. It's kind of neat. Little floor there. Uh, so I have a knife. And I have a gun. I think. Turn the weapon to the holster. Okay. Again, we're just kind of walking through the basics. Gun! Really, really, really rusty beat-up gun. Tells you a little bit about it. Tells you what, if you if you salvage this, which you can, I'll show you where that is in the game. You can salvage the materials and get this equipment back, and then you can use that to build new stuff. Durability is important, but you do run that out pretty quick. Ah, I got a what? Let me ask you a question. How, how much damage do you think that sucker does? Look at that baby. Oh, I gotta watch. Um, return to larger weapon. So you just kind of swing it over the shoulder. Oh yeah, backpacks. So I play into the radius a lot and I'm used to kind of letting my backpack go and it's sitting there hovering in the air. Yeah, you don't get that in this game. <laughs> uh, take food from the backpack and hold it to your mouth. All right. So some yum. Oh Jesus, I was gonna say get some yum yums, but uh, It's delicious. Take bandage from your backpack and wrap him around your arm to restore health. It tells you the blue. 
All right, wrap it. Wrap it. Wrap it. <sighs> yeah. You see your health bar going up there a little bit. Reach over your right side and grab and pull out your journal. Mm -hmm. That's backpack. Oh. I need to learn left and right, <laughs> apparently. All right, so yeah, it looks like a nice, very colorful little journal. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. All right. And you got different, uh, uh, press the trigger to interact. Tracked recipes. Taurus report. Oh, yeah, it talks about all the stuff, tells you what you have in your craft stations to build equipment. Ammo, tells you what kind of ammo you got stored up. Pretty nice. And it's colorful. It's like a scrapbooking. <laughs> <laughs> scrapbooking for the apocalypse. <laughs> anyway, anyways. So task details. I'm really just kind of doing this. There's no task, but I'm I'm sure your missions show up here. Uh, reach over your right left side and grab and pull out your flashlight. Boom. So from the time I played this game last to now, this is this is definitely improved. Uh, when the batteries are low, shake it. Shake it, shake it. Oh, little flashlight there. That does not go very far, does it? Uh, let go of the flashlight and return to your auto chest. Boom. Oh, look at that. And it's still on. Is it illuminating? Oh. <laughs> look, look, we got some friends. Uh, all right, let's move up here. Pick up the shiv. I got a shiv. You can press the... Press the trigger button, and it lets, does this little knife play thing. I like this because then you can. Uh, so your controller, you got take and hold, or take, skip, hold, walk, run. Kind of like most games uh, that are out there. I don't need that on right now. I'll turn that off. All right. So I guess we're supposed to go kill some some guys. So when your pet zombie acts up, you know sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta, mm, you gotta teach it a lesson. You gotta say, "Hey, oh, he wants me to do this." Oh, um, if you're squeamish, this is probably not the game for you because you are gonna be doing, you know. Some of, some of this stuff. Uh, it's like the... <sighs> Homicidal maniac in training, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Oh, so when your weapons break, yep, they have a durability. They literally just fall apart. There's no salvaging them. So if it looks like a weapon's going to get low and you have the capacity to salvage it, Go ahead and do that because um, it, it may save you some resources. But if you can't uh, and you use it to the end, you're going to um, lose it essentially. Oh, here's the axe again, our old favorite. Yeah, grab the axe, kill the walker. So you've got to two-hand this guy. Um, let me uh, let me switch up here. Yeah, look at that. So you got to really like. Yeah, you gotta really swing this sucker. Let's do an overhand. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you got a you got a fatigue meter. And you gotta kinda kinda rest. Give yourself a chance to recover. So if you get surrounded by Oh, Jesus, I caught me off guard. If you get surrounded by bad guys and you've got weaponry that you have to swing around like that, um, yeah, you may kill them in one hit if you got the, that correctly done, but um, your... Oh, I don't like this. Shake off walkers when they grab you. Oh, this is this is disconcerting. All right. ah! Okay, you just gotta like knock them around. <laughs> I should probably turn that on just to get some extra illumination out of that. 
Oh, look at this guy. Hi. So now we're gonna do a little pistol training. Fire the pistol. Hey man, stop moving. Yep. Oh. A box of ammo. So then what do you do with this? Oh, you have like a little, this is your ammo storage. So you pick stuff up ammo-wise and stick it in there. I have 999,999 shots. I don't think I have enough ammo, guys. Well, okay, so you don't have to rack the slide. Can you rack the slide in these? All right, let's see what we got here. Right. So let's see if the game kept that one element in here that the other one did. So there's a guy at the end here who's gonna uh, kind of close off your training. So hold the Y button you've on the seen left. seen all there controller. is to see. Would you like to exit the combat tutorial? Yep, so you press Y on that guy, which is uh, the top. It shows you a picture there, so it's the top of these two buttons. You can also do this. <laughs> and then the game does this. <laughs> so somewhere, some developer said, we're gonna hand a gun to these guys they're going to blast the NPC at the end here. <laughs> so they said, okay, well, we're just going to keep you. It's a different guy completely, too. But you've seen all there is to see. <laughs> now that you've seen all there is to see, would you like to exit the combat tutorial? Yes, let's exit the combat tutorial. Right, so you hold this down. And then you pick with the, you hold it with one hand and you pick with the other hand. Uh, wait, so how do you, how do you select? Are you sure about that? Oh, you released the hold. So, why? Ah, damn, would you look at that. Just remember, them walkers out there. <laughs> I'm not right in the head. Now that you've seen all there is to see, would you like to exit the combat tutorial? <laughs> okay. Are you yeah. sure about that? <laughs> ah, damn, would you look at that? Okay, just Let remember. Finish the speech. The ones out there ain't gonna treat you as kindly as the ones in here. <laughs> tutorial complete, okay. Beautiful graphics. Uh, I think uh, since my last play of this game, which has been some time, been kind of into the radius, uh, playing like crazy. Um, they really up to, yeah. So New Orleans. Well, well, I'll be down. Well, the you'll be down. In the flesh. Oh, <laughs> he's got Joy's money. Not you've been buzzing all over to buy you. Word has even reached Nola. <laughs> yeah, but. If the city is where you're headed, well, I suspect your story is just beginning. Me too. It's a friendly warning. One lone soul to another. The dead ain't the only thing to be fearing in the Big Easy. Shunning any folks who don't be towing the line. <laughs> Those so that kind of when the gates are on the other, making everyone's skin crawl with their horror show tactics. What kind of Disney ride am I on? <laughs> and the powder keg that's gonna make the whole city blow? The reserve. <laughs> I can tell by the spark that jumped up in your eyes that you've heard the legend. Disaster relief supplies. And when the flood to end all floods hit in an old military bunker. 
never distributed to the people because the government didn't know its ass from a hole in the ground. And before they could figure it out, the dead started walking. Oh, all that grub, all those meds, mm, military-grade weapons, and ammo to boot. Untouched. Hidden. And guess who's close to unearthing the mother load? That's right. You're looking at him. <laughs> but this broken body has seen better days. And I need to get after it real quick before the fools get wise. So, if you find yourself itching to step out of the bayou and help out an old man, well, you can find me in the cemetery where I'm holed up. All right. There would be a 50-50 split in your future. Ah, I ain't greedy. Hmm. And no. I wouldn't think no that at all. Fool. Ooh, bright light. Give it a ponder, tourist. You just might be what this sinking city needs to keep his head above water. But then again, <laughs> maybe you're the type to pull the whole godforsaken place under. So every day the, the tower rings church bells throughout the city to stir the herd of walkers. You watch, you watch his time to it. I don't know why they do that. Day one, late evening. So yeah, this game is just as creepy as I remember it being. Um, the areas you play in this game are very limited. There isn't a lot of um, flexibility where you can go. Here in the beginning, you get some areas to explore, and it kind of—it's kind of a tutorial again. Pass at it. Let's see. Find the old man's hideout. The old man Henry lives in his graveyard. All right. No weapons. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So I know there's a bit of hidden stuff around. I'm not going to talk too much. I don't want to destroy the ambience of the game, the immersion. But uh, if you're looking for a creepy game, this is definitely the one. Uh, crouch. I am crouched. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Put that on my side there. I can grab here. No, it's pretty much a grab one item kind of thing. So this is an egg timer. 
<clears throat> so this is the one thing I, I'm not a fan of with this game. Um, your inventory is limited to uh, three pages. And that's it. And then later on, I think you can get more pages. You can expand your backpack. And you get a weapon slot here on the side. But that's all you get. And it's it can be like a toothpick or a giant board of wood. And it takes up the same amount of space. I uh, Kind of like into the radiuses... You just get a backpack and you have a certain amount of weight. Um, I'm sure other people have complained about that as well. Come on now. So here's a here's a dude not doing terribly well. So you're gonna pop pop to life. Grab onto the top of the flat surface and push over. Screwdriver. So if I remember correctly in this game, your voice actually does attract them. Let's see if I can get up here before he wakes up. <laughs> Holy crap. Piercing the skull requires a broad range. So it's not about speed. It's about, um, I'm just going to carry an extra shiv here. Hey. So durability, this thing's about to die. Cigarettes. So yeah, you kind of have to explore around a bit. There are hidden things, collectibles in the game, uh, stuff like that. I'll, I'll get that in a second. I just want to look over here real quick. So you really want to search around in a lot of areas because you will find just kind of random stuff. And, and, and that's a random, obviously, some real collectible. I'll put that on my back here. Stored. Anything else? Can we interact in any other way here? You know, anybody watching me stand here playing this, making these motions, has got to be just going, what is that man doing? So noises in the game, I think, if I remember correctly, uh, your voice also... Um, attracts attention. Save the journal. A patrol so had a scrape with a couple of reclaimed in Old Town yesterday. Cyrus got messed up pretty bad, but the savages paid the price. One of the corpses had this drawing on it. Look familiar? <laughs> Doesn't bode well. If that little shit and her traitor mother are working with the reclaimed to locate the reserve, time is not on our side. No more fucking around. We prioritize their capture, and we get the key back. I don't want Mama to worry, so keep this between us for now. Be cautious but aggressive. We stir the herd at 1700. Keep on the hunt till the last minute. The tower will always stand. Georgia. Yeah, so this is what I mean. Like, this is an old shoe, but it's worth for the adhesives and the bindings and all that. But it takes up the same amount of space as, as a large thing or a small thing. Dirty bandages. See, so you can't... So you can't really stack them. So yeah, that's... that's I guess, I guess the only complaint... I would have about the game that after all the updates and everything, they really never fixed, and I don't think they plan to. For whatever reason, they kind of, I can think they kind of like having that restriction. <laughs> all, the, all the mice he's running for it.
flashlight off, see if I can sneak up on this guy. Hey, buddy. <coughs> That's got to be breaking soon. You know, zombies are creepy. That creeped me out even more <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, I can hear them. Oh, this doesn't look good. What the hell happened here? Is that our buddy? Oh, it looks like our buddy. Fool. Such a damn fool. Oh, no more. Please. I, I can't. I to take no more. Take it easy. I'm here. No one is going to harm you anymore. <laughs> now you show up. Oh, son of a bitch. Hey. Both sides. They came down on me. Same time. Slaughter. But I kept my mouth shut. He didn't get shit out of old Henri. Oh, do me a solid. Done. Don't. Don't let it go to waste. Okay, buddy. I'm begging you. A kid. Huh? A mom. 50 50 still stands. Huh? They get mine. Understand? They're the only ones who deserve it. The rest. Drown the motherfuckers. All right. Revenge, we can do that. Henri, who are you talking about? So long, waterfall. So long, waterfall. Waterfall. Are you going to change? Because in the lore of Walking Dead, anybody who dies is already infected. Like everybody is infected. Yep. Oh man, sorry about that, dude. Looks like we're in the uh, the business of, of revenge. Oh, look at that. Let's go look over here real quick and then we'll go over there. Let's we'll see what that fun is. This must be his headquarters. I'm like about to be ambushed. Oh, I love the the random papers flying around. So that's his bus. That's his that's his former headquarters. It's now it's now your headquarters. That boat over there is what takes you to your missions. Oh. Just 
you know, just looking around for some random stuff here. Like this. One of seven. One of a kind. Okay. Again, it's uh, collectibles that you can find in the game. What is this? Box of stuff. Oh, it's a random loot box. That's cool. Take that too. More random blue boxes. More of this stuff? Because you need all the savage you can get your hands on. I don't know if that's new in the newer updates of the game, or if that's something that was there and I just never knew about it. Dolls? That's another doll. So there's probably going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to miss in this playthrough. Again, I'm just trying to show the basics of the game. Uh, how the combat works and stuff like, like that. And just the exploration of the game. Just how you and look around and really want to look in the corners and just kind of find everything. I'll go over there in a second. I just want to see what's over here. And I'll make sure no, uh, no zombies come up and flank me or something. Oh, yes. So I'm not sure what these dolls are for, these little figurines, but... Um, if someone watching this knows, and it's not a big spoiler. I'm going to go through here. Oh, I can't, I can't open that or anything. I can't interact with that. All right. All right, game, I take a hint. I take a hint. I know where you want me to go. To the bus. First, to see by this range down here. Oh, this game is very eerie. Music is really cool. It's perfect. Oh, look at this. A bow. We'll put that on the slot in the side here. We got arrows. Oh, you can put in the ammo pouch. Wait, that's it? I get one arrow? I look at one of those dolls again. I get, I get one arrow. Hence, hence why it told me, uh, try not to miss. <laughs> All right. Oh, look, another one. Uh, I'm probably missing some, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. go here and show the rest of this uh, part of the game. So essentially this becomes your headquarters. These workbenches are where you can build all your weapons. Uh, the tutorials the tutorials walk you through all this. The health and stamina, food restores your stamina, medicine restores your health, max stamina decreases when you exert yourself. And those are kind of displayed here on the clock as well as the chimes at midnight and such. So this is the uh, unlock sterile bandage upgrade. So this has already been upgraded. These are all the things I can upgrade. Anything with a lock is not upgraded. So um, if I want to upgrade it, I have to... Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Usually it tells you here. Oh, I see. So survival station. Wood scraps. Unlock sterile bandage. Sterile bandage. This is what I need. I need 24 wood scraps and 10 adhesive, and then I can get the sterile bandages. Right now, all I can make is stew. Over here, I can make three different weapons, and to make 
So I got a revolver, and to make ammo for the revolver, I need uh, 14 workable metal and 10 nuts and bolts. And that's basically how the upgrades work. Oh, look, ammo. All right, well, that was, that was fortuitous. So that's all weapon stations. That's all food and healing. And this one looks like melee weapons uh, and random gear. So I got shiv ability, and then to make the next one the custom foot gear, uh, I need uh, 12 nuts and bolts and 24 workable metal. Jeez. Uh, this one gives me quieter sprinting, and it costs 25% less stamina. Sounds good like when the horde is about to rip you to pieces and such. It's crafting tips. Craft new items with yellow recipes. Okay. Blue recipes are permanent upgrades to your vitals. And green recipes are special recipes hidden in the world that unlock when you find them. So that's cool. You got a whole bunch of different upgrades and weapons and food and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, Mama special beef stew recipe cooking on the pot there for you. All right, let's go on our bus here and see what we got going on. <laughs> that's cool. So yeah, if you take this, it goes back home. Boop. All right. Oh, look at this. <laughs> All right, this thing's pretty much done for. Look at that, passcodes. So when you pick a note up, it automatically puts it... I had an inkling, it... and by God, I was spot on. The reserve, it's out there. It exists. This journal I found proves it. Still, so much work to be done. Stones that gotta be overturned, riddles that need solving, waterfall, and frequency 61 has to be connected to the reserve somehow. Command and control, I'm thinking. Uh, that, that's the next step. If I can get this blasted radio repaired, wonder if someone is still inside. As soon as my ankle feels steady, I'm gonna take the skiff to that mansion in the garden district when Niles and I recorded the Tipsy Blue record, the Blue Palace. It's my best shot at finding a microphone for the radio. Power is covered with the bus battery, antenna too, got encryption covered. Can't afford any eavesdroppers. <sighs> Haven't slept in three days. Those creaky bones are rattling with excitement. So close. I can only imagine what might be in there. <laughs> Grub, meds, weapons, ammo. Oh, haul of a lifetime. Set me up for a decade. Could sure use the tourist help, though. Hell, I'd even be willing to split 40-60. If they make all this easier, uh, hope they show up before it's too late. Getting old. So your first mission is to sleep until morning when it's safe to travel, but uh, you also have to repair the radio. So repair the radio, I need to use this gift to travel to the shallows, search the blue mansion for a microphone. Install the battery Henry left on the bus, and install the antenna. Um, oof. So this game has kind of weight mechanics. I'm holding my hand about a foot or two above where... where I was holding that, but, um, so now my concern's gonna be, where did the antenna go? Oh. <laughs> it put it in my inventory. We'll go ahead and just put that up there so it doesn't get lost. All right, so now we just gotta get the microphone. You can never have enough shivs, apparently. Another cool thing about this game is you can actually kind of create a custom weapons thing. So you can actually display all your fun looted weaponry. So if you want to you want to 
kind of show off a, a horde of cool weapons and stuff, you're welcome to do that. So the object uh, of the game, here's your, your recycling bin. It's an actual recycling bin. Um, so you could take stuff like this. All the gun, none of the fun. <laughs> Put that in there. Tells you what you get out of it. And, uh, and that's kind of recycling. And then once you've got stuff recycled in there, you can come out here and see what you're able to build. Uh, if you want to build a better weapon, or if you want to build um, better knives, like or, or, or the old Negan special. So it's all the plus, all the check marks mean I can build this if I want to. Um, it's got the green thumb, like, hey, you know, like, hey. You know. um, so I can actually build that, or I can actually upgrade to making bullets. Bullets are cool, but noisy. All right, so I can't build that. I already got shivs. Uh, can I upgrade? I can unlock sterile bandages. That probably sounds like a good idea. All right. So to build stuff, once I have all the materials for it, I just click the build button and it appears here on the desk. And I can grab it. Uh, all right, let's upgrade bullets too. So now we can make bullets. So. Uh, ammo. Okay, so I can only build one box work. Put that in our little ammo chest here. So compared to a lot of other games, it's pretty simplistic. Uh, so this tells you you have six rounds loaded. Uh, tells you about durability. It's not very durable. Yeah, so this is basically a last resort kind of thing. This is probably what I'm going to be using the most of. I put the gun over there as a backup. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sleep till the night, through the night, and then in the morning, uh, you can't go to, to uh, the uh, city in the nighttime. It'll tell you that you can't do that. So <laughs> to sleep... Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, look, it's another one of those dolls. So we have six of the seven dolls, which is interesting. Hey, come here. Come on. Get yeah, there. We have six of the seven. So out there in the graveyard is another one somewhere. So we'll worry about that later. Again, not, not important to the demonstration of the game. So what you have to do is you got to drink this guy. All right. And then pass out, apparently. The help supplies have dwindled, the dead have grown in number. Now, how much that is, I don't know. Like, how much has the undead grown? How much have the supplies dwindled? I don't know. Et la bus. So now it's daytime. Oh, that's cool. They got the bugs flying around. So it's daytime. 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 What we got here? Get rid of that. Uh, kefir bites. It's got like a little little vampire guy on there. What's this? Medicine cures some sicknesses. I don't know if I need it or not. So again, because you have these limited slots, six of twenty-seven are already taken. You can only pick X amount of things up when you're out in the field. So that's kind of the downside. Oh, I already beat that dead horse. Anyways, it makes you really have to think about... Um, oh, look. <laughs> Ammo. Ammo. So, if I want to use the bow... Let's see. Okay, you just kind of grip it. It tells you how many shots you have left. That's cool. I wonder if you can shoot things and reuse the uh, the ammo. We'll try it out. All right, so we're gonna go down over here. I just want to check one last time. In the daytime, now we have some visibility. At this point, you can take your time looking around. The game doesn't really progress uh, until you hit the. I don't think it progresses. I could be wrong on that, but. I'm pretty sure it doesn't progress until you get into town, and then you have to 
Let's see. What's this? It's a box of stuff. Well, I don't know if I want to. Anyways, we're just doing a demonstration of the game today, so otherwise I would run back to the bus and dump that real quick. So here's your cool little boat. Pick up your map. These are all the different locations. We only have access to one because we just started the game, so we're going to click the shallows. You select that, and then this icon means you can engage in conversation. So, in other words, don't always shoot them in the face. So this is kind of the zone where you actually play. Again, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure my voice. So we need this wood, these random items on the ground. You know, because again, this is like, uh, oh, you could drink this one. This is a, uh, this gives you max stamina, but but reduces your health down. Because you know, soda's bad for you. Soda bad. All right, so just had to do a quick little side thing there for a second. Uh, again, just auto, and it'll automatically place it in your backpack for you. So again, you can and, and you can do a run like a raid, where all you're doing is just picking up random stuff if you want to, or you can actually run the missions. So she wants to talk to me down there. I can, uh, <laughs> I know how horrible this is gonna sound, but I can't just murder her and just not complete the quest. I don't see a point in doing that. Over here. Uh, besides Please. just being weird, but yeah. Hi. My husband, he's turned. He begged me not to let it happen, but I just couldn't pull the trigger. He was all I had left, but I failed him. I'm so ashamed. Would you be willing to help me out? I just can't bring myself to do it. I need someone else to end this nightmare. So for the sake of the mission, I'm going to say I'll help. I will put him to rest. You will? Thank you. That sure. is so kind. Here, take this key. Ruben in a room. Second floor of the Blue Mansion, just up the street. I noticed your watch. Looks like you've got the alarm in sync with the chiming bells that rile up the walkers every day. Smart. Don't want to be caught out in the open when this place is overrun by the dead. Oh, and um, one last request. Reuben's wedding band. If you could retrieve it, it would mean so much to me. At least I could carry one small token with me. From my children. I have nothing. They're just gone. I never even got to say goodbye. I know. Sorry. Wow, she's got a piercing stare. Holy cow. Uh, I'm just going to look around real quick over here. So yeah, as a starting map, I'm going to show you the area. She's, she's eyeballing me. Do it. Okay, okay. So everything's misty, which is very cool. Oops, I don't want. So uh, here. Hello. So there's the map. Okay. So here are... Yeah, sorry, there we are. I'm like looking for the purple arrow. There we go. So you can actually see it rotating with me. So basically the map is really just this. This is our house we need to go to. This is the uh, location. There's multiple paths to get there. There's a wall you can jump. There's you can go down the street. So that's kind of cool. You get to pick which way you want to go to get there. You get to pick it, uh, which way you want to infiltrate. And there's even like a way to climb the side. So I don't, I, I don't know how much more of the game... Uh, I want to show because I don't want to ruin too much fun, but get kind of a sense of of the game mechanics and the game. We'll, just, we'll go kill some stuff and we'll wander a little bit here. You can toss these things, by the way. It's super heavy. It's like really sluggish. Again, those noises can't attract them. 
know what that sound is. I can bash him with the bottle, by the way. Is that a brick? Can I pick that up? Oh, it's a log. Oh shit, there's a zombie. He spotted me. Oh shit, there's two of those guys. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> ah, that's intense. And I don't want to fire the gun, even though that would be easy. Holy shit. I'll see if I can aggro. Aggro one at a time here. Hey, my buddy. Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, gotcha. Oh. Weird. My controller did something odd for a second there. Can I sneak up on this guy? Nope. Jigs up. He saw me. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right, this thing's only got a couple hits left. So that's the house right there. That's the house right there that we have to go to. Sounds like somebody's shambling around out here. Shotgun, but it's useless because it's all beat up. So it's just good for parts. Yeah, I could have gone over the wall there. Behind this dumpster over here. Nothing bad's gonna happen. I lied. Oh. Oops. All right. Keep that shiv handy. Sounds like we're gonna need it. Jesus. That guy saw me. Oh, a little, little animation broken right there. <laughs> He's stuck on the plant. Here he comes. Yeah, that was horrible. Uh, I just shot a whole bunch of shots and didn't hit anything. For some reason, the gun was like way over his head. That's a uh, thousand percent me. So yes, you have to, with this gun, you have to manually load each bullet one by one. So yeah, I fired a whole bunch of gunshots. And how beat up am I? Let's see. Mm. <laughs> I 
That's actually my neighbor bringing this garbage can in. If you hear that rumble in the background there, that's not uh, that's not the game. So yeah, I fired a whole bunch of shots. Um, didn't hit anything with it. Oh, look Maybe at this. Noir is a traitor. Maybe Noir is a liar and a thief. She will oh, stay and do anything to hold her own selfish agenda. Do not be fooled. She will not help you. She will corrupt you. I considered her family. Treated her as if she were my own flesh and blood. Yet she did not hesitate to betray me. She tried to turn my dearest and most loyal friends against me. No, her treachery knows no bounds. She is desperate and will do the same to you. Do not be fooled. Maybe you she should be shunned. If you assist her in any way, you will leave us no choice but to consider you an enemy of the tower. We do not resist. Do not force our hand. Jesus, the tower all over the place out here. Stand. <laughs> wow. They are all. They're, I mean, they're just. It is just. Uh, one would think this is a zombie apocalypse or something. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm gonna run out of weaponry by the time I even get to the house. So, grip, stab. <sighs> so again, my stamina, you see the stamina going down pretty bad. I'm kind of back at the beginning here. I want to do a little exploring, kind of see what kind of trouble I can get into. All right, so that's the same note I picked up before. Some random loots. Be pretty clear. Ah, and it's not. Okay. Oh. Well, that's interesting. The game just respawns them. I mean, they were, nobody was there. So that's that's interesting that the game just keeps responding. Look at this. They just keep coming out. There was nobody there, so... Yeah, this thing's about to break. I should have brought a couple shivs with me. Anyways, so let's get over to the house if we can. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> like I just cleared that area and all of a sudden there's zombies walking around there. I mean, it definitely, oh, it definitely creates a more um, dramatic game. I see you. This is probably going to be the end of this thing. Yep. Uh, a screwdriver. Something tells me I should get off the damn street. Hey. Oh, good. Another screwdriver. Oh 
man, I'm out of room. So you gotta hold it for that whole period of time. You can, by the way, take that and shiv somebody with it. So we'll take it with us. Of course, there's gonna be more guys. So this is uh, one of the shortcuts you can get to the window here. It does cost stamina to climb. You look good. So in this game, you can't open up drawers. Well, that's killing my health. No, this game's not creepy at all. Little M16. <laughs> so basically there's a ton of salvage in here and you have to kind of pick through the best salvage uh, for you. Yeah, see I can't pick any more stuff up. So welcome to Creepyville. Getting the hang of the gun a little bit. So this key is lighting up, so that tells me that the mission is right here. Now I just gotta find the husband. I'm gonna close this door behind me. I don't know if they can open doors or not. Oh, I see him, I think. Hey, my friend. Sorry, buddy. Oh. I 
have no ammo for it. shotgun because why not what am I supposed to do with this thing is this like collectible or something <laughs> uh, I don't know. pack of cigarettes gone and this is why I kind of complained a little bit about the the game with the backpack and stuff because you just you're making weird choices. This little pack of cigarettes. Box of blades. Uh, you kind of need this for. So anyways, yeah, I could spend the next year looting. Here's the journal. My dearest, dearest. Corinne, I lied to you. I am sorry. I had to spare you. A lost hope. Our children died by my hand. I had to set them free to protect them from fate worse than death. I know you will never be able to forgive me. But maybe one day you will understand that I had no choice. Not suffer. Take comfort in that, my love. Reuben. So I'm just going to sneak down the stairs. Come in the same way. I mean, I got... Oh, I picked up some ammo. That's cool. It's random ammo. I think you can open just about everything in here. Oh, look, more random ammo. So let's go ahead and got so much loot. All right, let's see if we can make it out of here. Oh. Oh, this is going to be terrible. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy the playthrough. And, um, yeah, if you uh, have VR or plan to get it, get this game. It's amazing. There's so much to do and so many places to explore. This is the map one. I haven't even checked out more than 40% of it at most. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, put them down in the uh, comment sections, and um, we'll see uh, what the next video is going to be. Another take on VR and other interesting take. We'll probably do like a puzzler game and uh, see you know how the puzzle games work out instead of these kind of first person shooter games. You know I never did try the bow. I'm just curious about the bow. <laughs> That's oh oh that broke already? All right, so all right, enough fun. Uh, everybody take care, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.